In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the new features and how you can update your Ledger Live Manager to version 2.0. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. For those of you that use Ledger and their Live Manager, you'll be pleased to hear that Ledger have now released version 2.0 of Live Manager, which has not seen any upgrades since its launch that went live two years ago in July 2018. Ledger Live lets you set up and manage your Ledger device and supports the Ledger Nano X, Ledger Nano S and Ledger Blue via USB. If you don't already have a Ledger device, I'll put my affiliate link in the summary below where you can buy your hardware device directly from Ledger. The latest update includes improvements on the most important tools that can assist and simplify the use of Ledger Live, which includes app management, efficiency, storage insights, and an insight into potential crypto assets that can be used on Ledger Live. And I'll show you how to update your Ledger Live Manager next, but if you already know how to do so, then please feel free to skip this and look at the new features, and I'll pop a timeline in the summary below so that you know where to skip to. So how do we download Live Manager? Well, the first thing you need to do is head over to ledger.com backslash ledger hyphen live, and I'll put a link in the summary below. And what we now need to do is go to download. And as you can see, they've got a couple of different versions that you can download. So that is either for desktop or mobile. Now in relation to desktop, they have a couple of different operating systems that they support, and they are the likes of Windows, Mac, and Linux. They also have their mobile app, which you can download from the App Store or Google Play. Now I have a Mac today, so what I'm going to do is select Mac app. Then if I open up that file, it's then asking me to drag and drop to install the app. Now I already have Ledger Live on my machine at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the current version that I have. You then may be prompted to enter in your credentials. and you'll then be prompted to enter in your password for Ledger Live. And as you can see, I'm then prompted with some release notes in relation to version 2.0. If I just click on to continue, it then provides me with a terms of use. So what I need to do is accept that to, and then click on to confirm. Now just heading over to the manager and you will need to allow the live manager on your hardware device. Then in terms of the new app management features, this is essentially a completely new addition. Previously, owners of the Ledger products who use Live Manager could not view apps on the hardware device by the manager. This was a real pain, as with some devices, you can have as many as 100 apps on the device. Thanks to the update, though, this is now possible so that you don't have to endlessly scroll through your device to see what apps you do or don't have. Also, it will tell you if your app is outdated, and in this way, you can update and ensure that your apps have no bugs and that all security features are as up-to-date as possible. Live Manager 2.0 even has an auto-update feature, so you can simply update all your apps with the click of a button. Now, many applications are dependent on either the Bitcoin or Ethereum application. And previously, in order to update one Bitcoin-dependent app, you would have to uninstall and reinstall the Bitcoin app along with all its dependent applications. This is now an issue of the past, and rather than having to go through the painful process of having to manually do this app by app, the auto update feature will now do all that hard work for you. And now that it's easier to manage, you might start downloading more of these apps and make more out of your device. Fortunately, with the new update, you can now also have more insight into how much free space you have left on your ledger. As well as this, on the new Live Manager 2.0, you can also see how much space each app is using, allowing you to manage your storage better on your device and so that you can prioritize it more efficiently for your needs and remove any bloatware. And the final addition means that you can now add a crypto asset account in Ledger Live. This is great news as this is another feature that was not previously available. This is using a new filter and table that tells you whether or not you can manage a crypto asset in Ledger Live or not. It will then give you links that indicate how non-compatible crypto assets can be managed. 
Then alongside all this functionality additions, UX improvements, big technical updates, and flow designs have also been added, which you can check out in the release notes. Ultimately, this is making the Live Manager more user-friendly, feature-rich, and better all round than it was before. So that was my update on Live Manager 2.0. And I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.